Listen up, I'm going to take you on a journey, a journey that transformed my life from being a corporate drone, hating my daily life, to becoming financially independent and running a real estate investing firm where I'm excited to hang out with my team and I love every second of the day. The best part is it all comes down to one fundamental money principle that I'm going to share with you right now. This lesson is the key to building wealth and achieving financial freedom. So if you're ready to change your life, stick around because this is the one lesson you need to become meaningfully wealthy. The lesson I'm talking about is what I call equity creation. This principle is the cornerstone of wealth creation and it's the secret that separates the wealthy from everybody else who wishes that they were wealthy. But before we define the principle, let me share a story that will help it make sense. This is back where it all started for me. When I was a kid, I used to walk around my neighborhood pushing a lawnmower around. And I would knock on the doors and I would ask my neighbors if I could mow their lawn. For every lawn I mowed, I'd get something like five, ten dollars. It would take me 30 minutes, maybe an hour to finish the lawn. And my neighbors got a cheap lawn job and they didn't have to go out and sweat in the hot Texas sun. And I got some cash in my back pocket. This was a classic example of an exchange of value. I offered my labor mowing the grass and in return, I received some money in my back pocket. Now on the surface, this might seem like a great way for a kid to earn some money. And in many ways it was, but what I didn't realize at that time was that it was an incredibly inefficient use of my time. The problem with this approach, and it's a problem many people care into adulthood is that it's a one-to-one -one exchange of value. I was trading my time directly for money and that can only take you so far. It does not scale and you will never become wealthy doing that strategy. As I grew older, I continued to make the same mistake. In high school, I sold cut coat knives, earning a commission for every sale that I made. In college, I worked as a computer technician, fixing people's tech problems for an hourly wage. Later, I became a network engineer in the corporate world, earning a salary for my time and expertise. Each of these jobs paid me a decent salary, but they all had one thing in common. I was only getting paid once for every hour of work that I put in. And this is the trap that so many people fall into. And it's why most people never ever achieve wealth. When you're operating in a one-to-one -one exchange of value, your income is always limited by the number of hours that you can work. Even if you're earning a high hourly rate, there are only so many hours in the day. Doctors, lawyers, high-paid salespeople, engineers, you name it, are all capped in how many hours that they can work. Now, many of these professions make really good incomes, but they're not wealthy unless they take some of that income and invest it into equities. So the lesson is you are capping your potential income when you rent out your time. The turning point for me came when I realized that in order to become wealthy, I needed to shift, have this mindset shift from going from a one-to-one -one exchange for value to a one-to-many exchange for value. And this is done by creating equity. This means finding ways to earn money that aren't directly tied to the hours that you work. It's about creating systems, building assets, or leveraging other people's time so you can earn money when you're not actively working. To put it simply, you have to make money while you sleep. And this might sound a bit cliche, but it's an absolute truth. Wealthy people understand this and that's why they're wealthy. And they structure their income and assets in a way that allows them to generate revenue around the clock, independent of their time. That's the secret. So the obvious question is, how do you do that? How do you move from a one-to-one -one model to a one-to-many model of earning income? It all comes down to creating or acquiring assets that generate passive income. In order to become wealthy, you have to buy, build, or create equity. Equity represents ownership whether it's in a business, uh, real estate, stocks, or any other asset that can grow in value over time without your time. When you have equity, your money, someone else's time, software, or media is working for you, even when you're not actively involved. So let's start with buying equity and what I mean by that. This is the most straightforward way to start building wealth. When you buy a piece of real estate or shares in a company or a stake in a business, you're purchasing equity. As the value of that asset grows, so does your wealth. But the best part, you don't have to trade your time for the growth. You're trading your money for the growth. Your investment appreciates whether you're working or not. The second second way is by building equity. And this approach involves creating something of value that can generate income on its own. For example, if you're starting a business or you're developing some sort of product or you're creating some sort of online course, these are assets that once built,
built can continue to generate income long after the initial work has been done. Building equity often requires more time and effort upfront, but the long-term rewards can be substantial. And the third way is by creating equity. This is about turning your skills, your knowledge, or ideas into assets that can generate passive income. This could be writing a book, creating software, creating code, or licensing intellectual property are really common examples of creating equity. These are things that you do once, but they continue to bring in revenue for years to come. When you buy, build, or create equity, you're setting yourself up for a one-to-many exchange of value. Instead of getting paid once for your time, you're creating something that can pay you multiple times across multiple channels, potentially for the rest of your life. Let me share with you how this played out in my own life. So for 17 years, I worked in corporate America as a network engineer. I was pretty good at my job and I made a decent salary, but I was stuck in this one-to-one exchange of value. No matter how hard I worked, I could only make so much money. I was capped because my income was directly tied to the hours that I worked. I knew that I needed to make some sort of change and that's when I started exploring real estate. At first, I was just sort of a side hustle. I didn't really know what I was doing. I bought a few rental properties I kind of started generating some passive income, but then over time, I started to realize the true power of equity. With each property I acquired, I wasn't just adding another stream of income, I was building equity in the asset itself. The properties appreciated in value, the rental income grew, and I was able to leverage the equity to buy even more properties later on. Before long, I'd built a real estate portfolio that was generating enough passive income to comfortably replace my day job. And that's when I made the big leap forward in not being a corporate drone anymore. I left my corporate job and focused full time on investing in real estate. Today, I run a real estate firm where I get to work with an amazing team. I choose who I get to work with because I'm the boss and I attract the best and brightest and we enjoy working with each other. And I love every second of it. But it all started with understanding the importance of equity and this idea of creating a one to many exchange of value. Once you've made the shift from one to one to one to many, the next step is to scale. This is where the multiplier effect comes into play. When you have multiple streams of income, each one contributing to your overall wealth, you create a compound effect that accelerates your financial growth. For example, let's say you own several rental properties, each generating rental income. In addition to that, you've invested in a dividend paying stock and you've written a book maybe that brings in some royalties. All of these income streams are working together. They're kind of stacking on top of each other, multiplying your wealth over time. The beauty of this approach is that it doesn't require that you work more hours. Once you put in the initial work, then you get this residual benefit. In fact, the more you focus on creating and acquiring assets that generate passive streams of income, the less you need to rely on trading your time for money. Instead, you'll be able to focus on growing your wealth, enjoying your life, and doing things that really matter to you because you're not focused on making sure that you're getting just enough money to pay those bills. So here's the one lesson you need to become wealthy. Shift from a one-to-one exchange for value and shift to a one-to-many exchange of value by building, buying, or creating equity. This is the fundamental principle that will unlock your ability to generate wealth and achieve financial freedom. It's what everybody who's wealthy is doing, and they don't want you to know about it. It is not about working harder or longer hours. It's about working smarter and leveraging your time, your money, and skills to create assets that generate income for you even when you're not actively working. If you're stuck in a one-to-one model right now, start thinking about how you can make that shift. What asset can you build, buy, or create that will allow you to earn money while you sleep? It'll be a lot of work up front, but what can you do to create a better future for yourself? How can you start generating passive income and building equity in your life? Remember, wealth isn't about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep and how hard the money works for you. It's what the money does for you. It's the optionality it gives you. And by embracing the one-to-many exchange change of value, you'll be well on your way to building the wealth and financial independence that you've always dreamed of. Check out the links in the description as we have a variety of resources to help you get started investing in real estate and scale your portfolio. Tell me in the comments below what types of equity you start right now. Until the next time, check out the video we've queued up for you on the screen here. It will help you take the next step in your journey.